How's it going, comic fans? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today, I wanted to talk about the second issue of an eight-issue series being published by a very, very small comic publisher, Sigma Comics. It is Here Comes Calico, issue number two. Um, thank you very, very much to the folks at Sigma Comics for sending this to us um, to, to review, to check out, to read, to enjoy. They sent us issue number one. We did a review for that. I'll leave a description, a link down in the description below if you want to check that out. Check out a review for it, our thoughts on issue number one, and why you should check out Here Comes Calico. Today we're going to talk about issue number two, of course, um, which I'm holding right here. But before we get into that, real quick, I do want to tell you about one of our excellent, excellent sponsors, OrganicPriceBooks.com, a fantastic service you can use, a new and fantastic service that you can use to get your collected editions, trade paperbacks, omnis, absolute editions, deluxe editions, whatever it is you're looking for, OrganicPriceBooks.com likely has it. Um, incredibly fast shipping, incredibly secure shipping, great customer service. Um, great selection, great website. You can pre-order, you can um, reserve copies that are on back order. Highly, highly suggest checking them out. And what's best about it is if you use the code THC2 at the, uh, as the promo code at checkout, you'll get an extra $2 off every single one of your orders. Just make sure to use that promo code THC2. It helps us continue to help you and it helps organic price books continue to grow their selection grow their inventory increase the the effectiveness of their services and be a just continue to be an incredible incredible um website and company can't recommend them enough organicpricebooks.com use the promo code thc2 at checkout to get an extra two dollars off your order now let's talk about here comes calico <laughs> So I was very excited when I got the email saying we'd get the second uh, the second issue for this book. Um, if you're not aware, if you're new to the channel, I'm usually I'm typically a very very big fan of creator owned comics of smaller publishers, independent publishers trying to do something different, shake things up from the usual DC Marvel big two goofiness. Um, and Sigma Comics does just that. Um, before we get into Here Comes Calico, of course, I'll be showing artwork, um, both high-res images and the, this actual comic book itself. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about Sigma Comics because I think there's a lot of heart and a lot of passion here that I absolutely, absolutely adore. Um, what's great about Sigma Comics is they are a publisher that's focused on animal rights and animal abuse. Um, it's an unfortunate thing that happens on a very, very, very regular basis. It's all too common knowledge between us all human beings and our societies that animal abuse is very much a real thing it happens all the time and unfortunately you know as sigma comics say animals don't really have superheroes um, and now with here comes calico they do they have a flagship hero from sigma comics um, calico focuses on this character this sort of protagonist i'll say to call him a hero is not necessarily the best term he's really an anti-hero um, who has sort of a network of helpers primarily dog mama who helps him get information get intel on various uh, individuals or organizations out in the world that are causing harm to to animals um, what's really great about this book is it touches on a lot of themes and a lot of scenarios and situations that We've seen in our history, in our recent history as a civilization, whether it's um, a big fast food corporation just slaughtering animals left and right, um, not even, not to mention, the, the book doesn't go into this, but not to mention genetically modifying and altering and experimenting on these animals, to poachers, to exotic animal hunters, to wealthy people eating shark fin soup, whatever it may be, it's really great this book covers it with issue number two. This is, of course, I should say this issue is written by H.H. H. German with artwork by Javier Obarich. I apologize if I've butchered any last names. Um, I'll give all credit in the description down below if you want to know colorists, artists, letter, all that. It'll be down in the description below. This issue um, continues to follow our main character, Calico, as he gains information on, an org on a large fast food corporation um, and sort of starts to basically work his, work his revenge um, 
on recent events that they've con c conducted that basically injured a whole bunch of animals. There are actually quite a few plot lines being followed within this issue, um, sort of, again, showing the anti-hero-ness of our character, right? Doing a good thing, but not necessarily doing it in a way that um, won't affect his character, won't affect his judgment, won't affect who he is as a person. Um, it's a very conflicting storyline. It's definitely a very horrific storyline in the reality of it. Um, it's horrific in the sense that, you know, these are things that happen regularly and seeing it on a comic book page is not something you see every day. You don't see poachers, you don't see um, slaughterhouses or anything, but seeing it on a page really freaks you out, um, really makes you realize and just remember that this is a reality that's happening every day, um, which is, I think, one of the most powerful things about this book. It lets you reflect on yourself um, as a person, you know, even if sometimes you think you're doing the right thing, are you doing it the right way, the most, the way that has the, the least amount of um, consequences for, for people uh, surrounding you. Um, and then, of course, with animal abuse itself, there's a lot of great themes covered in this, a lot of great subject matter covered in this. The artwork is great. Um, the dialogue's really fun. There's more, uh, there, there are more details about boxing in here as well with the little bag. Um, really, really fascinating stuff. It made me want to once again start up boxing, but um, damn, COVID in Canada is way worse than, than it is in the States now, so I can't do anything like that just yet. But there's a, a ton of stuff going on in this book. What I really love about it too is it has the New York personality to it. You get to learn a little bit about New York. If you're not part of a town that has, you know, if you don't get the references in here, you want to be able to get them. It's really inviting in that way, and I really did enjoy that too. And, and another thing that I really like, a small little detail about the book is um, the advertisements. You know, at the start of the book, there's a tribute to MF Doom, who just passed away recently. Um, the other... Um, the other sort of ad pages are all about animal welfare and animal support. It's great. Really fantastic. Um, you can pick up this issue. You can pick up a reader copy, as they call it, for $2.99. What a reader copy is, is it's you get the issue, it comes with a bag and board, and then it's just put into an envelope. Um, or you can get a collector issue for $3.99. There's more intense packaging, so your, your book will come in um, as near mint a condition as absolutely possible. So those are your two ways of getting it. You can also, also get subscriptions for the entire series. There's going to be eight issues total here um, so you can get all eight issues as reader copies or all eight issues as collector copies and I highly recommend checking it out it's a great great story so far um, by a great publisher who's trying to do the right thing trying to make sure that money um, for animal abuse and welfare actually gets to the animals itself and not just lost within the various mach uh, machinations of a, of a corporation of a um, you know an organization a charity if you will um, you know, there can be a lot of overhead and a lot of money that gets lost, but Sigma Comics is trying to avoid all that, make sure the animals get the help they deserve, while also telling a story that um, can make you ask yourself some questions, ask some questions about the world, and make you reconsider how you think about animals. On that note, I highly recommend checking it out. Go to their website, sigmacomics.com, for more information on who they are as a company, what other uh, titles they may have in the works, what they're planning to do as a company. And I highly recommend checking out issue two of Here Comes Calico. Thank you again, Sigma Comics, for sending us the copy. Thank you all very much for tuning in. One last time, check out organicpricebooks.com. Use the promo code THC2 to get an extra $2 off your order. That's every order. Use that code as many times as you'd like. You're welcome. Um, and thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and sound. And until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.